Did you know, almost 60% of Americans don't have a budget? That's over half the population flying blind with their finances. Now I know what you're thinking. Budgeting, that sounds like a total snooze fest. But hear me out. Having a budget is like having a financial GPS. It helps you navigate through the wild wilderness of bills, expenses, and savings. With a budget, you can avoid those pesky financial pitfalls, like overspending on takeout coffee or those impulse buys that have you asking, why did I purchase a lifetime supply of glow-in-the-dark socks? A budget helps you allocate your income effectively, ensuring your hard-earned money is working for you, not against you. So, with that in mind, wouldn't you want to be part of the 40% who are in control of their finances? Budgeting may seem complex, but it's actually as simple as understanding your income and expenses. Let's with the basics. A budget is essentially a roadmap for your money. It's a tool that helps you understand where your money comes from, where it goes, and how much of it is left over. The two main components of any budget are income and expenses. First, let's talk about income. This is the money you earn or receive. It can come from various sources such as your regular job, side hustles, or even passive income streams like investments or rental properties. No matter the source, it's crucial to have a clear understanding of your total income. Because let's face it, you can't spend money you don't have. Well, you can, but it's called debt, and that's a whole different kettle of fish. Next up, expenses. These are the costs you incur in daily life. Expenses can be broken down into three categories. Fixed, variable, and discretionary. Fixed expenses are those that stay the same each month, like rent or a car payment. Variable expenses, on the other hand, fluctuate from month to month. Think utility bills or grocery costs. And discretionary expenses? Well, those are the fun ones. Dining out, vacations, that trendy new gadget you've been eyeing. These are all discretionary expenses. Now the trick to successful budgeting is finding a balance between your income and expenses. If your expenses exceed your income, you're living beyond your means, and that's a slippery slope to financial stress. But if your income exceeds your expenses, well, congratulations, you're living within your means. The surplus can be used to pay off debt, save for the future, or even splurge a little. Remember, budgeting isn't about denying yourself pleasures, but about making informed decisions on how to spend your money. And there you have it, the building blocks of any budget, income and expenses. So, are you ready to start your budgeting journey? Great! Stay tuned for the next segment where we'll delve into creating your simple budget. And don't forget, if you're finding this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more financial tips. Now that you know the basics, it's time to get down to business and create your budget. Let's start with tracking income. This may seem like a no-brainer, but many people overlook this crucial step. Your income is not just your salary. It includes all the money that flows into your account in a month. This could be from side hustles, rental income, dividends from investments, or that $20 bill you found in your old coat's pocket. Next, we move to expenses. Your expenses include every single penny that leaves your account, from your morning coffee to your Netflix subscription, gym membership, and even that late-night online shopping spree. Yes, even those impulse buys count. Now it's time to categorize your expenses. This is where things get interesting. You can categorize your expenses into two types, fixed and variable. Fixed expenses are those that remain the same every month, like rent or mortgage payments, car payments, and your Netflix subscription. Variable expenses are those that fluctuate, such as groceries, eating out, or your online shopping. Here's a little tip. Don't forget to include savings as an expense. Yes, you heard it right. Consider your savings as a bill that you must pay to your future self. This will ensure that you prioritize savings and don't treat it as an afterthought. Now that you've got your income and expenses on paper, it's time to do a little math. Subtract your total expenses from your income. If the result is a positive number, congratulations. You've got a surplus. If it's negative, don't panic. It just means you need to make some adjustments. This brings us to the importance of setting financial goals. Goals give your budget a purpose. They could be short-term, like saving for a vacation or buying a new laptop, or long-term, like saving for retirement or investing in property. Now here's the fun part. Allocate your money to different categories based on your goals. This is where the magic happens. But remember, the key is to be realistic. Don't allocate 90% of your income to savings and expect to live on ramen noodles for the rest of the month. Finally, it's time to implement your budget. But remember, your budget is not set in stone. It's a flexible tool that should adapt to your changing needs and circumstances and voila, you've just created your first simple budget. But remember, 
A budget is a living document. It's meant to be reviewed and adjusted as needed. Creating a budget is one thing, but sticking to it? That's where the real challenge lies. Let's be honest, we've all been there. You create a detailed, color-coded budget, promising yourself that this time it's going to be different. Then a few weeks later, you find yourself on a shopping spree because, well, retail therapy is a thing, right? So, what's the secret to sticking to a budget? Well, it's not really a secret. It's about setting realistic goals. No, you probably can't cut out all dining out or entertainment expenses, but maybe you can limit them to a certain amount each month. The key is not to deprive yourself, but to make conscious decisions about where your money goes. Next, let's talk about wants versus needs. We need food, shelter, and clothing. But do we really need that designer handbag or those fancy sneakers? Understanding the difference between wants and needs is crucial to sticking to a budget. It's not about completely eliminating wants, but prioritizing needs and budgeting for wants. Now you may be thinking, that all sounds great, but how do I actually do it? Well, thanks to modern technology, there are numerous budgeting tools and apps that can help. These tools can track your spending, categorize your expenses, and even send you alerts when you're nearing your budget limit. It's like having a personal financial advisor in your pocket. Remember, the goal of a budget is not to restrict your spending to the point where you're miserable. It's about gaining control over your finances and understanding where your money is going. It's about making informed decisions and achieving financial freedom. It's also important to be patient with yourself. Changing financial habits is a process, and it's okay to make mistakes along the way. What's important is that you learn from them and keep moving forward. So, to sum up, stick to your budget by setting realistic goals, understanding wants versus needs, using budgeting tools, and being patient with yourself. Keep in mind, a budget is not a prison. It's a tool that gives you freedom to spend without guilt or worry. So there you have it. The nuts and bolts of creating a simple budget. We've traveled a financial journey together, from understanding the surprising reality of our money matters, to the basics of budgeting. We've then put those principles into action to create a simple budget, and we've explored some top-notch tips on how to stick to it. We started by addressing the elephant in the room, the importance of budgeting. It's not just about counting pennies or restricting our spending. It's about gaining control over our financial life, understanding where our money goes, and making informed decisions. It's about being the boss, not the employee, of our own money. Then we delved into the basics of a budget, income, expenses, and savings, the three pillars on which a budget stands. We learned that knowing our income and tracking our expenses is crucial, but it's the savings that will help us build a financial cushion for the future. Next, we put on our financial architect hats and built a simple budget. We learned that it's not one size fits all. A budget is personal, it's unique, it's you. It should reflect your financial goals, whether they're paying off debt, saving for a vacation, or buying a fancy new gadget. Sticking to a budget, ah, now that's the tricky part. But we learned that it's not impossible. It's about making smart choices, staying disciplined and keeping our eyes on the prize. Remember, it's okay to have an occasional splurge, as long as it's accounted for in the budget. And let's not forget the power of technology. We have countless apps and tools at our disposal, making budgeting easier than ever. They can track our spending, remind us of our goals and even give us a virtual pat on the back when we're doing well. Remember, the goal of budgeting isn't to restrict your spending. It's to empower you to make informed decisions about your money. So, are you ready to take control of your finances? If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more financial tips and tricks.